Hey fam, come on down to the farm. I'm making a harvest time feast. First, some stuffing that tastes just like fall. Here's what you need. First, combine some veggie broth, milk, and an egg. Set it aside. In a frying pan, melt some butter and add your veggies and seasonings. After about eight minutes, you can add your hazelnuts and cranberries. It smells like Thanksgiving already. In your biggest bowl, add some cubed bread and toss in your veggies and your liquid. Mix well until your bread has soaked up all that goodness. Nice. You can make a big casserole, but I like making smaller servings. Grease up whatever pan you're going to use. Then, ladle on your stuffing. Bake it until it's just golden. I like mine a little moist in the middle. Ah, look at those tasty colors. Now for some totally saucy cranberries. It couldn't be easier. Here's what you need. Put all the ingredients into a pot and bring it to a boil. Stir and bring to a simmer and cook until the berries totally fall apart. Like this. Now place them in a blender and puree until totally smooth. Ooh. Strain it out into a serving dish. It's cranberry sauce that's the consistency of gravy. Great on turkey. Now let's glaze the heck out of some yams. Here's what you need. Don't tell the villagers I'm using Joja Cola, but trust me, it's good. First, melt butter in a large nonstick pan. Add your yams and fry for about five minutes or until the butter turns nice and yellow. Add the rest of your ingredients and bring to a boil. Cook on low for 20 minutes or until every piece is cooked through. Then you can turn the heat to high until you get a nice sticky glaze. Careful, it's lava hot. Plate it and bask in its sweet and shiny glory. For dessert, blueberry tart, no pie pan needed. Here's what you need. Add your berries to the pan and sprinkle on everything but the butter and the egg. Cook for about 15 minutes, stirring constantly until you get a super thick jam looking thing. Once it looks like this, add your butter and take off the heat. Put it in the bowl and refrigerate it until it's totally cool. When you're ready, Unroll a sheet of puff pastry on a parchment lined sheet. Sprinkle some cake crumbs in a circle around the center. It's going to trap all those delicious berry juices for us. Now pour on your berries. Fold over the edges into themselves making an awesome freeform tart. Sweet! Make sure to press the dough into itself so it seals. All you have to do now is brush the crust with an egg beaten with a little bit of milk. It's going to make it nice and shiny. Now bake until it's golden brown and puffy. Gorgeous. Slice it any way you like and serve alone. Or with ice cream. But first, you gotta enjoy your yummy sides. With some turkey, of course. Happy Thanksgiving, and don't forget to take home some leftovers, okay? I'm thankful for you watching this video. Check out this other Stardew Valley recipe. I think you'll dig it. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. There's a bunch of links in my description, and I'm always down to chat. Also, be sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. See you next time. Bye.